smoky then. Brother, ooh. All right, guys, my auntie Dawn made some smoke herring, right? This is a Trinidad dish. Mm -hmm. That's well, not fried Trinidad, Caribbean. A Caribbean, a Caribbean dish, yeah. It's, it's kippers, they, in England they call that kippers. Right. And here is herring. Okay. And, and you cook it up with all the onions and garlic and tomatoes. Right, and uh, Corey here is trying it out. How is it? It's good. It's huh? It's good. You like it? It's great. Right. You What's the smell? It's very pungent. Very pungent, smoky smell. Yep. And taste. It tastes great. It's okay. uh, salty, but it's good. Oh, there's the pepper. Ooh, pepper sauce, yeah. So since we've been here, Corey has fell in love with our local Trinidadian pepper sauce. Pepper. We're going to buy some to carry back. Pepper. I guess she showed us a brand last night of what we can take back. But. Yep. worried about me and the pepper sauce though well we are because if you're not used to it it can have an effect on your your uh, gut so that's why we were, we were just looking out for you so okay. but it seems that you can handle so and it's not just pepper sauce he can handle this man can handle you, you don't really cook with um scorpion because it makes your food extremely spicy extremely sometimes spicy. you can't even eat it because it's so hot you can take a little piece just on yeah. top of your food Try eating it with that, but not cook. That was a very fruitful trip to the Chili Peppa farm. From here, we're going to a place called Birdies, which is one of the brands that makes some of the best hot pepper sauce. From right here, Scorpions are gonna go, I mean, she supplies Birdies for the pepper sauce, and we're gonna see that making, the making of it next. What we're gonna see now is Scorpion pepper sauce. All right. Right, Scorpion pepper sauce, you all would know, well, hopefully know, used yes. to be the hottest pepper in the world. I think this guy has had the, the hottest pepper. But we were used to be the hottest and I think, we're, I think we're still up there. We're gonna take that pepper and we're gonna turn it into pepper sauce. Nice. That's what we do. Okay. Let's go. All right guys, I just posted a quick clip on trying to give you some background and explanation of what pepper sauce is. It is a local hot sauce made in the Caribbean from these, the hottest peppers you could find. You can kind of get a glimpse of it from this little excerpt I posted from Mark Wee's episode on his last trip to Trinidad. And uh, a bunch of the pepper sauce are the, the chilies themselves, shadow benny, culantro, and garlic. Always fresh, always fresh ingredients. And that's just gonna blend and grind into a perfect puree of the pepper sauce. You can already start to feel the fumes in your, in your nose. So that's just reduced into a puree of scorpion peppers. Dangerous puree. A little bit acidic, but mostly you're getting that pepper flavor coming through. Oh, cool. that yeah. was incredible. The key is the fresh. That was fantastic. We're here in the storage room now and gonna do some taste testing. The best part. How long has your family been making pepper sauce? My dad always made pepper sauce. Because in Trinidad, especially back in the day, you couldn't get a home style in the supermarket. Ah. So, most Trinis would have something homemade or hopefully a friend gave them. My dad would give to friends and close okay. family. Okay. And then they did this little fundraiser and my mom was smart enough to put her name on the bottle and a little story. And people kind of started to call. Mm. Now granted, it took 10 more years until we got into the supermarket. So it's a family recipe, your mom's recipe. Bertie was my dad. Bertie and and, and this is, family and run we, still. We, we stick with it. The ingredients are even fresher. It's mm. even more organized, but That's it is important. the same, yeah. same, same fresh. I mean, you saw the stuff. It's, it's, it's fresh is the name of the game. And, Let's and, do, and, and we're we gonna work our way up from mild. Okay, so this is just the pimento. This is just, thank you. Tell me, like, more generous than that? Yeah, I think, I think we can. Okay. Okay, that's good. That's good? Mmm. <laughs> Delicious. Vinegary and acidic. Get that flavor, the fruitiness of the, the pimento comes out so nicely. Moving down the line with the slate. I'll go cheese. Mmm. Now you get the spice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a little bit of spice. Again, so fragrant. Okay, original. Right, original. Oh, yeah. That's such a good, like, well-rounder. All-purpose. 
pepper sauce. You could put it on anything and make your food better. We have worked our way up to the one, the scorpion. It's better than that one, that's one. It is a pepper that demands respect. Oh, yes. All right guys, cheers. Scorpion pepper sauce. Mm. Oh. oh, the flavor is so good. You get more of those, those fumes. But I can feel it starting. As I said, it's a slow burn. It's oh, it starts off, starts off slow. It starts, off slow. It starts to build. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can feel that. The fruitiness of it is just incredible. Yeah. Yeah. Zach's starting yeah. to sweat. The sweat has started to come down there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, that's going to burn. Mm. The flavor profile is just extraordinary. It starts off fruity and then it just builds in intensity. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> so. All right, I'm going to try a piece with them. Yeah, I'm out of oh, Thank you. I even put pepper on there, so it's good. Yeah, yeah, top of sauce. Anything? You big? No, that's good like that. Well, yeah, you can warm it. Yeah. Yeah, it, it gets it all soft again. Yeah. Yes. Just for ten seconds. Mm -hmm. I can. First time I smelled this, I couldn't believe it. You see this. <laughs> and it's a it's a regular smell you smell too when you pass by people's homes here. Yeah. Everybody will be uh, cooking, smoking, right now. Yeah. Uh, tomatoes <laughs> and or dumpling, another one. Yeah, they put dumplings and smoking. I don't eat dumpling either. Do I? Dumpling is just flour. Does Ashton eat smoked herring? What do you have to understand is that long. Mm -hmm. We used to just eat rice and meat and peas. Rice and meat and peas. Mm. Monday to Friday, Monday to Sunday. On Saturday, we would get soup sometimes. You could taste the onion, the, the tomato, the garlic. Seasoning, everything. And most of all, you could taste the smokiness, that kind of smoky. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. All right. Corey loves it. Yeah. Let me take an next piece for you. For him, yeah. Mm. Yeah. No, no, it's not. It's not bad. And it's salty too, has the, the saltiness, I like salt. smokiness. Mm. So it's, it's, you see they put the salt to preserve it, mm -hmm. just like the salt, so it's part of the stuff. Mm -hmm. So you have to take So it's not just Trinidad that makes this, it's, oh, it's global. It's, or, a, it's an African based thing, so okay. it's from, from Africa, like Taylor is from mm. Africa, Katlaloo is from Africa. Gotcha. Then all the Indian stuff, the curries and the dal and the right. aloo pies and the Different. different cuisine. Yes. Or different, different, different influences. Because yeah. Trinidad and Tobago has the influence of uh, French, Portuguese, Spanish, Spanish India, Indian, and African. And, African. Yes. and now uh, Chinese. We have every, everything. Chinese oh, and Middle Eastern too. Because we have gyro and yes. lamb and. Uh, uh, I saw some Mediterranean. Yeah, everything is in Trinidad now. Mm -hmm. um, um, Chinese food in Trinidad is one of the biggest things because mm. it's different. That's from what the people in the airport said to him. You must eat Chinese food in Trinidad. Mm -hmm. We go to Valpa Chinese restaurant, popped okay. the best day over the years. So here it's not. Today we visited Fal Park Chinese restaurant and this place has been around for ages.
My parents took me here all the time as a child and safe to say that the standard of the food has remained the same. As in most of these restaurants, you have to order the food in portions. So we took a quarter portion of pineapple chicken, a portion of their veggies, some noodles, and half a portion of their egg fried rice. And as on my plate look, this is how everyone's plate is looking. And you could see that we were really happy and very satisfied with the food. So I just had a shandy and my husband had some juice. My mom didn't want to drink anything. And the bill came up to about $300 for all of us that included tax and service charge and all of that we were able to fill our plates like a second time and we still had leftovers so i think it's bang for your buck so let me know if you've ever visited here and what were your thoughts bye when we were younger okay and grandma used to go to that it's, of course it's that's right after people. i don't know that's after yeah. that's the only way to borrow screen for me yeah. mm -hmm. And Bal Bal Chinese restaurant is the best. Yeah, mm. he's really got red shoes. All this, football the game, you watching football? Yeah. My uncle Ashton watching football in the corner there. And you know how Trinidadians, when they see sports, yeah, they're like, yeah. <laughs> we, there he goes, there he yeah, goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> who played who? Cricket, IPL, guys. Cricket is a big thing in the West Indies. Huge. And that and soccer. Yeah. Foot yeah, sorry that <coughs> Americans say soccer but it's football, yeah. My apologies to all Trinidadians is is football, alright? The pepper sauce sometimes messes with people's stomachs. Yep, yep. yep. Depends on the person, yeah. Especially if you don't you're not accustomed to spicy stuff. Well, Technically, since I've met him, he have a whole fridge full of Tabasco sauce and... Ugly, horrible sauce. Yeah, Tabasco yeah. Tabasco sauce, horrible. It's horrible. Yeah. But it's Cholulu, not Tabasco. Oh, Cholulu, yeah. Okay, so Sriracha... Sriracha. Yeah. Sriracha, yeah. Yes, they were so have fermented, fermented chili paste. Okay. That I get at the Asian store. Alright, so what we do... I used to make a... But this is what I grew up on. We used to do competitions as kids where we would pull a little cap and try to drink it and see who could survive. It was crazy what we used to do. So I made Insane. this. Insane. I made this. It's been there more than six months now. This is for lime pepper. Lime sauce, yeah. So it it's not very hot because when I made it, yeah. I used my peppers from the garden. And my peppers were that hot. Yeah, so that's another version of sauce that we make, which is yeah. it's just a lime sauce. It's like a pickled. Yes, lime. It's almost like a pickled yeah. hot sauce. So I use this when I'm making chow and stuff. I right. Put some of this in there. But, but fish. So let me just put a little bit for you right at the end. Okay. So you, you get a taste of it. Okay. So I made this, I think, last year, December. Yeah. Okay. So I still have two bottles. I had about six bottles. What's the uh the taste difference? So mm -hmm. it's, it's lime. And lime goes well with it. Yeah, it's a little fresh. You yeah. can see that fresh. Mm. So if you want more, you can put. Yeah. Yeah? I'm good for now. Yeah, but it's because it's been sitting there for like four months, mm. the pepper is now infused into the sauce. Yeah. Oh, okay. So it's a little stronger. Because I got pepper. Too much pepper. Too much that and that mm -hmm. might be too much. But I'll try that later. Yeah. <laughs> like I know you're fish. marinating fish here. Yeah. I'm just doing the fish and I put some lime pepper in it. When What's I'm that mixture? It. It's my green seasoning that I make. I have All bottles right. of it upstairs, so this is it here. So, Real Trini fashion. Yes, yeah, so. Yeah. We, I make all my stuff, all my stuff, right? Yeah, they sell it in the groceries, you know. Right, yeah, but still, when you make your own stuff, it's always better, it's fresher. There's no preservatives in it, you know? Right, so I I have about... Mm. What kind of fish is that? This is... Kingfish. I think you had this last night. Kingfish. Yeah. <laughs> Although that didn't look grilled to me last night. What was that? Steamed? Fried what? It looks steamed. Oh. But, so but it's got a lot of bones in it. Not kingfish, or that it wasn't kingfish. Kingfish doesn't have a... We are robbed! <laughs> kingfish has one bone through the middle. Okay. The carrot has more bones. So they gave us carrot. 
which is a cheaper fish, but it's good. I we, like got <laughs> we got robbed. Yeah. I like curry. So we got robbed yesterday with the Pomerac too. <laughs> we stopped to buy, um, uh, well, we passed three, three vendors on the way, on the highway, right? Mm -hmm. And we kept debating like, man, should we help these people out? Let's just <laughs> buy some Pomerac, right? Because you know, we want to give back. That was the main reason we wanted to do it. And then we landed on this one dude at the fourth traffic light <laughs> who had bags of Pomerac, but the first bags we saw, they were more full and big. Yeah, these were. And this guy, <laughs> I, I say, how much for the bags? And he said, $20. So I hand him $20. Well, Corey gave me $20 to give him. Yeah. So I, uh, I took the 20 and I handed it to the guy. And the guy, for like two seconds, looked in the car and then he looked at his bags and he just grabbed the bag that was at the back of his bunch because the front of the bunch i did see a bag with bigger fruit and he handed it to us and took off walking down the road <laughs> and only when i start driving and i looked down at the bag i said wait a minute we got robbed <laughs> so clearly in trinidad you need to be on your p's and q's and pay attention to everything and i think also last night you gave him a hundred dollars for like uh, a nip for the second nip and he got no change back so really? yeah <laughs> and the guy didn't even like try to like offer me back change when i went to buy food or anything just... but uh corey said he wanted to let it go so because i was gonna go back and make a fuss but corey it's said you know what it was like a tip so I might as well yeah. consider it a tip for the bartender so now those places you don't get to Everybody's always seen about themselves, basically. Yeah. It's like a fast food place. You go, you pick up your food, yeah. you go and take care of yourself. Correct, yeah. But we bought food from them already because their food is tasty. Yeah, Uncle Ashton said, you guys normally buy food from... So, because I, I asked that question before we bought. I said, they okay? And he said, yeah, yeah. They, they were good food, so... Yeah, their food was good. Well, then the yeah, cassava yeah. and <laughs> allegedly some grilled kingfish. It felt more like steamed fish, to be honest, but I don't, you don't think that was grilled, right? That wasn't grilled. Because grilled fish has the char yeah, thing on it. And, on it yeah. yeah, I think it was grilled on a flat iron grill. Ah, okay, I see you. Yeah, like a panini grill type flat yeah. grill. Yeah. Like what we do the eggs and breakfast stuff on it, maybe. All right, next stop or plan from here is uh, Maracas, we do. When you're going up for a crust, you mm -hmm. stop on the lookout mm -hmm. and you get fruits and vegetables and preservatives. You don't eat a lot of preservatives, like red mango. Not really. I mean, he was curious. He saw it last night in the supermarket, the red mango and the red stuff we saw. And it looked kind of like unhealthy. So he was like, yeah, I don't think. I we, we have dried. Have preserves. Yeah, we brought dried, like high, uh, dehydrated, dehydrated fruit. Like how you see a Trader Joe's, yeah. Okay. Well, <clears throat> I we grew up on a red mango and plums mm -hmm. and thing, right? Yeah, it's more of a childhood thing. Like I remember eating that in school too. It was like the thing you got during recess, you know. Yeah. Well, I still eat it. We used to line up to go to the principal's office to buy it on recess. Fifteen minutes in the morning. Auntie Dawn is resourceful, so she took my robbery <laughs> and, and make it. <laughs> Make it into a successful fruit chow, pomerac. You know, many Trinidadians or Caribbean folks will know what this is. What yeah. they call this fruit in uh, other countries? It has a different um, name, I think. Something apple. I forget what kind of apple. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, All right, guys. Thanks for spending time with Corey and myself as we hung out with my Auntie Dawn and Uncle Ashton just before heading to Maracas. We had a great breakfast. We had a good chit-chat. And now we're on to the next adventure. Thanks. See you guys here in a minute.